Alright, I wanted to show you how to take an exponential function, say, you know, y equals 2 to the x, and make a, make a table of values out of that. So an exponential function is, um, it looks like something like this, where uh, y, or you know, f of x, or what have you, is equal to some base, that's a constant, raised to the variable, the input variable, like that. So um, to the x is, I don't know, that's a nice one. Um, here's, here's just a reminder of what the shape will look like. Uh, so when you can take those points that you'll create on the table and then graph it. Um, this is the, the graph of the function y equals e to the x, and e is a special number. So um, don't worry about that. But all exponential functions will, will basically take this shape. Um, but yeah, so but before you graph them, you need to be able to make a table of of um, coordinate pairs. So here's how you do that. And I'll just take this function as an example: two to the x. I mean, you could have three to the y equals three to the x, or um, you know, y equals five to the two x plus one. We'll just do a simple one: two to the x. Um, this one. Okay, so I just constructed a table where I'm going to pick some x values, some random x values here, and then I'll plug them in, and then we'll see what we get. So um, I'll do a couple negative numbers just to make a point. Negative 1, negative 2. Um, we'll do 0 there. That's that's a good one. Um, if you have a choice, choose 0 as a, as a x to plug in. 1, 2, 3. So I don't know however many values you need uh, I'm gonna pick that many and we'll just we'll just plug them in so if I'm plugging in negative 2 for x then this um, would be 2 to the negative second which is equal to 1 over 2 squared that's what the negative exponents means 1 over over that um, So this, this is the same. 2 to the negative second is the same as 1 over 2 to the positive um, second. 2 squared is 4. So this this really is equal to 1 over 4, 1 fourth. Okay, what about um, plugging in negative 1 for x? would be 2 to the negative first. That would be equal to 1 over 2 to the first, which is equal to um, 1 half. 2 to the first is just 2, so 1 over 2. What about this? Uh, so plugging in 0 for x, so 2 to the 0. Anything to the 0 power is 1. So it's just 1. Boom, done. Uh, what about plugging in 1 for x, 2 to the first is equal to 2? Um, if x is 2, then this would be 2 to the 2, 2 to the second power, which is equal to four and then for plugging in three for x we've got two to to the third power which is two times two times two two times two is four and then times two is eight and actually just just because we're like that let's plug in four um two to the fourth would be two to the third times two uh, so that'd be sixteen so you can see actually the when the uh, x values are negative you'll get fractions when x is 0 you'll get 1 and then um, the positive values of x will cause y to grow really quickly like that I mean you know 8 to 16 in one jump I mean and then it'll go to 32 and then 64 I mean it'll just go crazy and that's that's why exponential functions look like that but to make a table just plug in some x's I choose some negatives um, and zero, and then just go easy on yourself. One, two, three, four, something like that, um, and then plug in those values for x, and kind of show your work like that, and then tell uh, just record the output va uh, values. You know what what y would equal after you do all that to x.